And before the pickiness begins, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. Greetings, picky eaters! We are going to be doing something different for this episode. I am going to be doing a blind taste test of Burger King's new plant-based Whopper. I only got the junior because I might not be able to finish an actual one. But of course, I needed to get a actual Whopper Junior as well. This is forward thinking that I might need to wash out that plant-based patty taste out of my mouth with an actual Whopper. Not just a hat rack, my friend. I want to, of course, show you what it looks like. And then I am going to be doing a blind taste test. I'm going to guess if this is the plant-based or the actual Whopper. Let's see how good it tastes. Because some people say it's good. Some say it's awful. My friend Spanky says it tastes like soy sauce. Uh, but masarap ba? Seem to really like it. My friend from the Sinigang, Ed Bugia, seemed to like it as well. But the guy has a vegetarian restaurant, so can't trust him. Kanya kanya trip. Before we begin, let's take a look at what this looks like. Alright, let's open it. A plant-based Whopper. So it's not really vegan because there are other things like mayonnaise and uh, cheese that, you know, strays from the vegan rules or whatever they may be. It looks like a regular patty. If you told me that this was vegetable or something, I wouldn't know it. Ah, oh, there. See? It looks like you. I wouldn't. There's no way you could tell that this is a. This is a vegetable patty. Okay, so you know what this is. I don't think I need to show you guys what the Whopper is. Yes, please. Okay, I'm kind of regretting that I just got the Junior. Kind of take out the tomato already. Acids. I'm gonna leave the pickle and everything else. Let us try it. Okay, so she mixed it up. I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? Okay, wish me luck, guys. How does it look? This is beef. I am 80% sure it's beef. I will be surprised if you told me that that was plant-based. This is plant-based. This is plant-based. I'm 100% sure I can tell. And honestly, it's not bad. Well, there's like an aftertaste afterward. I'm gonna try it, babe. <laughs> yeah, for me, the way I know is because it has the fake, parang bacon, the fake bacon type of flavor. Wow. Oh, yung cheese ko, basta sa mga. Sige na It has that fake bacon flavoring that I don't like. <laughs> Afterwards, there's a leafy finish. So, sorry. Let me just put it this way. It's nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. But at the same time, I wouldn't order it. Not my thing, but not bad. To be that in ito na makakain or crackers, sky flakes, then pipili mo to. Unless it was Sky Flakes with like butter jam or something. Wouldn't be my first choice. So guys, there you have it. Those that have been wanting me to try it, there you go. I have tried it. I'm not a fan, but it's, again, I, I will reiterate, it's not bad at all. I was pleasantly surprised with the fact that I didn't vomit. <laughs> If you want to see me try other items, whether it's dishes from businesses, big or small, check out my playlist, Pickiest Eater Tries, and Quarantine Cuisine. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. 
Remember, stay hungry, stay foolish, and when you can, please stay home. Thanks guys, thanks for watching.